On August 10th, the Senate approved the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act, a bipartisan package investing in roads, bridges, broadband, water, power, IRS cryptocurrency reporting, and other provisions. The Senate has proposed the bill will be partially paid for with unused COVID funds, but the misnomer in this statement is that businesses in need were counting on these funds in order to survive the pandemic. On top of that, the government would be withdrawing these funds for businesses at a time when the Delta variant is rising and the near future is uncertain. When the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 was passed in March, the employee retention credit was originally expanded for wages paid through December 31st, 2021. But the new infrastructure bill plans to end the employee retention credit early and not allow businesses to claim up to a $7,000 per employee credit for the fourth quarter of 2021. This would ultimately redirect about $51 billion in fourth quarter funds from employee retention to the infrastructure plan. With many state and local shutdown orders lifted, most employers will only be able to avail themselves of credit if they can reflect a significant decline in gross receipts. Basically, this means that employers must establish that their business still hasn't recovered to their pre-pandemic revenue streams. To qualify, a business must show a greater than 20% gross receipts decline in a 2021 quarter when compared to the same quarter in 2019. And more businesses are reporting difficulty in hiring workers, as many of them are hesitant to return for a number of reasons, including unemployment benefits and a fear of the Delta variant. If no changes are made and the employee retention credit plan continues as is, it may be up to small businesses themselves to figure out how to make up for the shortfall or if they can even keep their doors open.